hello dear students in this video i would be discussing five interesting things with all of you because one of you asked me like how we come to know whether the two quantities are in direct variation or in inverse variation so let us try to understand that so first situation is amount of work done by a person and time taken by him amount of work done by a person and time taken by him now you just imagine there is one person who is doing certain specific task if we increase the amount of work what will happen time will increase definitely you will be requiring more time to finish that work and if the task is reduced then what will happen to the time yes less time would be taken by the person to complete that task so how these two quantities are related with each other so let us see this so amount of work and time taken try to understand this let us assume that first one is x second one is y so when x increases correspondingly y also increases and when x decreases correspondingly y also decreases so this is a case of direct variation so you need to read the statement and the two quantities which are to be compared and then you will be deciding which mathematical equation you are going to use so here what will be the rule x upon y is equal to k so in this situation x upon y will be equal to k that is constant of variation i hope first point is clear to you now move on to the next the next situation is number of persons performing a particular work and time taken to complete interesting so you see here the two quantities are number of persons and time taken just think deeper let this be x and let this be y you just imagine that uh, there is a work area and in that area 10 people are working and they have they are assigned some task to be done so if 10 people they finish the work in 5 days what will happen if two people will take a leave obviously it will take more time to finish that work because every person is doing some part of the work assigned to them and what will happen if more number of people will help them yes then time taken will be less so see what is happening what kind of a relationship is here if the number of persons is more then time will be less correspondingly so second thing is if number of persons will be less correspondingly time taken to finish the work assigned will be more so what is this relationship so they are related inversely to each other so what mathematical equation you are going to use here yes product of x and y is constant i hope the second situation is clear to you okay moving on to the next one the third situation says speed of a moving body and distance traveled by it in a particular time so let us first understand speed of a moving body and distance traveled time is fixed so you imagine this to be x and this to be y okay if we increase the speed what will happen if say we the car has to travel for 2 uh, hours time is fixed and we increase the speed what will happen distance travel will be more and the car travels for 2 hours but 
the speed is lesser what will happen to the distance yes distance will also be decreased because the speed is less so it will cover less distance because time is fixed the car has to travel for 2 hours so if the speed is increased it will cover more distance and if the speed is decreased it will cover less distance so what kind of a relationship is there in between two speed of a moving body and distance traveled by it in a particular time yes it's a case of direct variation so x upon y will be constant that is speed upon distance will be constant okay now moving on to the next situation so this situation is speed of a moving body and time taken to cover a particular distance okay let me write down speed of a moving body and time taken here interestingly notice that distance is fixed say for example they have the um, uh, moving body has to travel x kilometer the distance is fixed so if we here increase the speed what will happen the distance is fixed speed of a moving body and time taken to cover the particular distance say we have to cover x kilometers we increase the speed what will happen yes less time will be taken because speed is more and what will happen if we decrease the speed obviously more time will be taken because the distance is same so what is this case so this in this case speed of the moving body and time taken to cover a particular distance they vary inversely so if this is representing x and this is representing y so here x y will be constant right okay let us move on to the last a uh, distance traveled and time taken by a moving body here now speed is constant so you see there are three things distance time and speed so we have taken three different situations so distance traveled and time taken so i'm writing here distance and time so here the speed is fixed now if the speed is fixed if we increase the distance what will happen just think what will happen time will be more and if we decrease the distance what will happen time taken will be less because speed is the same so this is a case of direct variation so if we say this is x and this is y so x upon y will be constant i hope this concept is clear to you and uh, you know the relationship between this uh, speed distance and time and it will help you in solving questions which are based on speed time and distance so say for example in examination you are asked to calculate time so what will be the formula for time time will be equal to distance upon speed and what will be the formula for calculating speed speed will be equal to distance upon time so we will be using this relationship speed into this time is equal to distance i hope uh, this discussion will help you in clarifying your doubts which you have asked thank you so much have a nice day bye bye